Hi Tappers! Today we are going to go much bigger and talk about your place in the world. How does humanity as a whole show love to you as a person? Or does it? Does your universe love you or hate you or not even realize you exist? Do you struggle to say any one thing is a given whole, given that there are so many different answers depending on whom you're asking and their opinion on who or what you are? Trying to figure out your place in this world and find it as a loving space can feel very overwhelming, confusing, and impossible. So of course we're gonna try to do it in three minutes. Space is so large, we haven't created instruments able to detect any sort of boundary to it, so we call it infinite. We know energy has movement to it, and when one form of it shifts, like a piece of wood into a fire, then ash, the energy from that wood isn't gone, it transformed. So we also say energy cannot be made or destroyed. It is also infinite. Now we are small individually, teeny on the scale of the infinite, yet we each have an enormous amount of energy. It can be measured with instruments. We, at any given time, are putting off enough energy to power a 100 watt light bulb. But we have to constantly replenish our energy by consuming other energy, converting it into usable energy for ourselves. We even create energetic pulses, and we do this with our brains, our hearts, our nervous system, even individual cells communicate with each other and within themselves using energy. So why all the fuss for us? We are such a delicate species, needing such a narrow scope to flourish. Now that is a question that is too big for me to answer today, especially with each person likely desiring slightly different variations on what exactly that is. But we do have an inner reflection of this outer scape that is something that we discuss in great detail and that's what this visual tool is for. A very high-tech tool, very uh, specialized. As a metaphor, our eyes have a large spectrum of possible sight. We have a focal point that grabs the majority of our attention, but we have peripheral eyesight, which means we have the opportunity to notice things in our field of vision that is much greater than where we currently might be focused. But what if that field were capped? Everything we process that we call our life experience is bottleneck filtered through this narrow scope. What would we likely do with that? Well, we would develop a routine for sure, making sure we get done what needs to get done and much easier as it would become a habit and therefore be much less stressful to encounter. We would likely develop an idea of what the world was based on what we saw, right? I mean, how else are we supposed to? But is it true? Is this view of the world true? Well, yes, but it's also not the whole truth. There are other truths that are within my possibility. I just can't see them right now because they're not in my field of vision. So let's go back to my original question to you. How does humanity as a whole show love to you as a person? Well, whatever your answer, what if, what if this is how you're finding that answer? I mean, could there be more just outside of your own current field of vision? Yeah. So how do you access something that you can't see? You get curious and you start asking questions. Your brain, which we've talked about how much more the subconscious sees than our conscious comprehension. See the link in the descriptions if you missed those, but it will seek out answers to your questions. So genuinely ask, Huh, how does humanity show its love to me? And if you have a slew of negative tail enders or inner voice arguments about that, then well, you know you have some barriers to tap on that just let you know that they're there and that's good news. Now you can take out the garbage that's in the way of your love quest. This is a bit poetic, Tappers, but the chances of all the energies of space and all of its infinite possibilities is truly staggering. And from all of those, you were chosen to be. That really does make you very, very special. Happy journey. I'm finding more evidence of that. And I'll see you again soon. I closed the wrong eye. There we go.